Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over defensive systems for the F5. The F5 has two defensive systems. It has the chaff and flare dispensers here, and it has the RWR right here. So let's go over the chaff and flare dispensers first. So in case you don't know, chaff and flares are things that the plane holds to distract missiles. Flares are these super hot glowing balls that um, heat seeking missiles lock onto. And chaff are these little reflective bundles that come out of the plane to confuse radars. So you can load chaff and flare into your plane in the rearming menu. So you click backslash and then you click ground crew and rearm. And you can see you have the sliders here for chaff and flare. I already have some loaded in. I have 30 chaff and 15 flares loaded. So you control the chaff and flares with this panel over here. It's kind of hard to see. It's off your left elbow. You can see there's chaff and flare. There's two little um, numbers to show you how many you have left. So if you have it off, obviously it's off. And if you have it on single, whenever you click the countermeasures dispenser button, it will drop one chaff. And the same thing with the flare switch. You need to bind the countermeasure dispenser button to your HOTAS. Um, it is this one right here, flare chaff button. You can also just click Q on the keyboard. On the flare panel, there's a little cover with the flare jettison switch. Um, if you flip it up, it will um, jettison all of your flares super quickly. That, the point of that is basically if you have to do some kind of emergency landing to make it safer to land so the flares don't catch fire. So if I switch my flare to single, and I click the dispenser button, you'll see a flare will shoot out of the plane. It's hard to see it on the ground, so I'm going to go to the air. All right, I'm in the air now, so let me put my flares over to single, and let me show you. So now let me show you what chaff looks like. It might be kind of hard to see. I'm going to put chaff to single. So I paused it, and you can see this little bundle that came out of the plane is the chaff bundle. If you have chaff and flare set to single at the same time, it will just release one chaff and one flare. So now I'll go over the program mode. To use program mode, you have to set it up, and there's two ways you can do that. You can do it in the mission editor, or you can do it on the ground. So I'll show you the mission editor first. If you want to set it up in the mission editor, what you do is you come to your plane, you click on it, and then you click this blue button over here. So you can see there's flare burst count and flare burst interval, and then there's a bunch of different chaff settings. So let's go over first flares first. So flare burst count is how many flares it will drop uh, whenever you click the dispenser button. So you can drop one, two, four, eight, and C is continuous, it'll just keep dropping them. Flare burst interval is how many seconds it waits between each flare. So if I set the burst count to four, and I set the interval to, to six, that means every six seconds it will drop one flare. And in total it will drop four flares. Okay, so now let's go over the chaff settings. So the chaff burst count is how many chaffs it will drop when you click the button. So you can do one and up to eight. The chaff burst interval is how many seconds it waits between each chaff. So if I put to 0.3, that means it will drop eight chaff in total and it will drop them 0.3 seconds apart. So now there's the salvo settings. So the salvo settings is how many times it will run that chaff program. So for example, if I set the salvo to four, this program I set, eight chaff every 0.3 seconds, it will run that program four times. So basically, in total, it will drop 32 chaff. And the chaff salvo interval is how many seconds between each salvo. On the chaff salvo interval, I'm not sure what R is supposed to mean because the manual doesn't explain it. But in my testing, it seems like if you set it to R, then it just basically shoots out all your chaff and it doesn't stop. All right, so now let's go over the other way to adjust the countermeasure settings. All right, so to adjust the settings on the ground, you need to open your kneeboard. You can hold right shift and click K and it will open. If it's not on the right page, you can use these arrows on the bottom to get to this page here. So you can see here's the countermeasure settings. It tells you what button to click. For example, if I wanna change the shaft burst count, I hold right shift and right alt and click three. And you can see it will cycle through them. If it's not working for you, it's probably because your engine is on. You have to have your engine off for this to work. So let me go ahead and set up a program I want. So I want to um, launch out three flares. I'm gonna do right shift, right alt, and seven. Okay, there's no three, so I'm just gonna do four. And I want to launch the flares out every second. So let me do right shift, right alt, eight, and put it to Okay, so the lowest is three seconds. So I'll just do three seconds then. 
And now let me set up my chaff. So I want to shoot two chaff and I want the chaff to be 0.2 seconds um, in difference from each other. And then I want to run that program three times. Okay, well I can't do three, so four. And I'll have each program three seconds apart. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the programs now. So let's do the flares first. So it should drop four flares, one flare every three seconds. So let's see if it works. So I'm gonna set the flare to program. And let's see. One, two, three, four. All right, let me turn the flares off. Let's try the chaff program. So the chaff program should shoot two flares um, and it should shoot two flares every three seconds, four times. So in total, in total eight uh, chaff, I mean. So let's try. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, so that was program mode. The only thing left to go over with the countermeasures as you'll notice, the chaff switch has an extra mode here that says multi. So what multi does is it um, activates um, the chaff burst that you set up, um, but it only does one salvo. So my chaff burst was um, two chaff, but it's only gonna run it one time instead of four times. So if I put it to multi, if I click it, you can see one, two, but it's not gonna run any more times, that's it. And then I have to click it again to do the salvo again. All right, so now I'll go over the RWR. The RWR is this thing right here. It is the radar warning receiver. So basically, if there are any radars around you, and th uh, this system will pick up their radar waves to tell you what's looking at you. So you turn it on with the power switch here. It will do a little test, and then it will turn on. So you can change the brightness of the RWR control panel using this switch right here and you can change the actual brightness of the RWR using this knob right here. You can also change the audio volume using this knob right here. So the RWR has some buttons on it. So the active power button, I don't think it does anything. The unknown button allows you to see unknown uh, contacts. The system test, I don't think it does anything. The target step button, if you hold it, it will separate targets that are close to each other. So for example, you can see there's two F-18s right on top of each other. And if you wanna see what each thing is, if it's, if it's hard to see, you can hold the target step button and you can see it'll split them apart. The low altitude button, I don't think it does anything. The launch button doesn't do anything. Handoff button doesn't do anything. So the search button here, if you have it off, then it will be showing um, whatever is tracking you. So you can see right now this, um, this SS is the aircraft carrier. So the aircraft carrier is tracking me. If you um, click it to search mode, in search mode, it just shows whatever is searching. So you can see the um, NASAM's radar here is searching and it sees me, but it's not actively tracking me. And the last button is priority mode. So if you leave it on open, it will show um, all the radars that are looking at you. Uh, but if there's too many and it's just all cluttered and you can't see anything, you can put it into priority mode and it will only show you the couple most dangerous. All right, so now I'm gonna go over some symbology on the RWR. So whatever has the diamond around it is the most dangerous current threat. Also keep in mind, you'll notice that some things are gonna be out here in the end and some are closer toward the middle. So basically the closer something is toward the middle, the more strong the signal's coming in. So you can basically use um, how close it is to the middle as a way to tell how close it is to you. Most of the time, the closer it is to the middle, the closer it is to you. Every time a new thing comes on your RWR, there will be a little beep. So if you listen here. And whenever something is tracking you, there will be a circle. So you can see this has a diamond and the circle. The diamond because it's the highest threat and the circle because it's tracking me. Whenever something fires on you, there will be a different beep sound and the circle will be blinking. That beep you just heard means there was a missile launch, and you can see it's blinking now. And as you can see, this thing just shot a missile at me. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.